Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back, or welcome to, I know I've been saying it for a while, but uh, I, th <laughs> I think it's about time I probably did it. Um, I believe I explained briefly why in the previous, in Victoria 2 videos, why I've not done this. And uh, in case you guys haven't seen or you aren't aware, basically I tried this before, I got quite far, well, I say quite far, I got four or five videos in, and then... <clears throat> Whilst I was at war, a costly war for me, I got attacked by all my neighbours and it was game over. So I kind of got mad and put it to one side for now. Um, so basically what we're doing is we're starting as Holland. Obviously independence is paramount. Thankfully, well, I believe we're able to get yet the Austrians, which is a lovely thing to have. We're going to improve relations with the French because <clears throat> they're close. And that should be enough to really beat out uh, Burgundy. What we've done is we've sold... Well, we've told our light ships to go into the English Channel, because it makes sense, it's our home node. And we've sold our cogs to England, because we have no no reason. And, I mean, it's extra money, so... We've done oversight of the clergy, right of council, and supremacy of the crown. Free enterprises, monopoly on textiles. I know that a lot of our resources are textiles but i feel as though getting the extra money right now and getting the mercantilism is quite important just to help in the trade node the same is with the private trade fleets and so our i also thankfully managed to take back crown land which if most of you don't know it gives you debuffs which isn't good i don't really like having penalties if i can help it sometimes they're okay you can ignore them but and then I, obviously with the I got an agenda I have to build alliances, I have to get two alliances, which once I become independent, having France and Austria shouldn't be too hard. So what we'll do is we'll put on four speed. I failed the agenda already somehow. Huh. Interesting. That seems kind of broken, if I'm honest. I mean I've not done anything. Will you support me in these up seven? What minus one? Let me actually, I don't need to necessarily do that because I can get where's the is the free company here? Yeah, so we'll build that <clears throat> and then minus five. Yeah, please, France, any time today. Minus four. I do hope me building up... Yeah, me building up me actually has helped it a little bit. It's maybe more of a viable ally. Okay. <clears throat> so now we should... I really apologise if you can hear the uh, emergency service vehicle outside. It's quite, I, I live on a reasonably busy street and it's not overly good for me. Having them ally with Milan isn't exactly great. Am I able to get anyone else? Is anyone else even remotely close? No, no one else is even remotely close. So, I guess all we can do is try and hope that it all works out, basically. I mean... No harm in trying, I guess. We've got my army now. What was our ruler? A 363. Yeah, it's not terrible. Boost the possibility because I don't really want to have low. Um, so we'll put a leader for my king. He's got quite a bad shock. Uh, okay, looks like we've got bad generals all around, so... We'll attach to that army and we'll hope that the majority of our allies do most of the heavy lifting. We'll try and siege some of the lands down. However, if they do just attack us, it's just a bad state of affairs, really. <clears throat> There's not much we can really do if they stack wipe us. Hopefully, France doesn't do anything stupid. Austria, I need them to actually put a shift in as well. Because at the moment, it just looks like they're getting sieged down. Which I'm not a huge fan of, if I'm honest. I mean, I'd like to give France land in this war, to be honest. 
but that's an unpleasant sight. Um, hopefully, France's vassals will try to completely seize down Milan. Like that. How many troops do the Austrians have? Not that many. Austria is not that strong in the beginning. England probably would have been a better bet, if I'm honest, actually, looking at it. Uh, this may be a bit hairy. I have a feeling that this might be a restart. I have the smallest of suspicions. Because where is the French army? Where's the bulk of it? Why is it just a bunch of smaller stacks running around? So they're sieging down Milan. I just got to hope that when they take the capital, when they take Paris, that they don't peace out on that. Because that would be devastating for me if they do. Don't peace out. Please don't peace out. Okay, so we've taken Antwerp. Where are you? Oh, you're there. Oh, Austria want it. Okay, yeah, sure. I'll, that'll appease the Austrians anyway. I have no issue with giving them land if they need it or want it. Really. I don't really care. Okay, so they're winning some key victories, which is good. Which is really, really good. Okay, so... Because my, my entire desire from this war is to gain independence and take these two regions mostly france won't like it which means i'm gonna to have to give them say that for instance which i mean that for me is perfectly okay um and then i'll call them but the what well, the general plan is hopefully this is this is if we win it which we should do is i'm gonna i puppet galray they're uh, not galray utrecht and then i'd feed them this so then I don't have to call this. This has all been called by Galway, and then I dip, uh, I annex them. And then so possibly the same with Burgundy, because at some point, uh, or same with Flanders, sorry, because at some point Burgundy's going to collapse. Kind of like they have now. They now have the same amount of troops as I have, and they only have, and they're over here in Austria. If Austria actually gets their, you know, arse into gear a little bit, though they are sieging this area down, which is really useful for me. If I can get Milan out of this war as well, that's more troops away. Even though I don't really think they've got much left or they've got many into the fray. Yeah, they're down here. I'm sieging Burgundian land, which, I mean, useful, I guess, but ultimately not worth it. So. <clears throat> Are we able... See, in this peace deal... Would we... No, so France wants exactly what they've got, and that'll make them happy. Other than that, they wouldn't be happy. Hmm. I mean, that's not ideal. I'm going to sack Brussels, I think. Because I don't care. Um. Okay, so Milan is out of this war. So we will take money from them, and we will... An alliances. Because I don't think anyone else wants anything else. So we've got, eh, didn't really get much from that at all, if I'm honest. But I think this is probably the first time I've actually done this. Obviously, I've played this in Netherlands a few times in my spare time by myself. Um, just FYI, I'm not claiming that I'm actually good at this game, even remotely. Um, but I've never had a, a, a independence war where my armies haven't been completely wiped, to be honest. Can I give you... Something else instead? Oh no, you really want those lands. Those are the lands you guys want. Which kind of... It kind of sucks. Honestly. I mean, it'd be nice if that wasn't the case. Austria's not in a good state. If we can finish this war fairly soon, it's for the better. I mean, once this area falls, that's it, I think. I mean, they might even be near it now, to be honest. I mean, how far? They're minus 12. 
And even if they do peace out Austria, they're actually going to hurt themselves. I'm going to keep the a diplomat. France is now going over to Austria, I think, as well. Or are they? They're just... I don't know what they're doing. Um, yeah, we won't risk upsetting the church. I mean, we've managed to pretty much withdraw Burgundy down to nothing. Are they... Surely to God, those soldiers must be mercenaries. Let's check the... Where are we? Yeah, mercen mercenaries? No, I'm the only one with mercenaries, so they've actually recouped manpower. Um, I'm going to make these videos 15 minutes, because I think that's quite important, is to have a l little bit of uh, an additional length on these. So we'll take money, and that should double check grant independence, and I'm getting these two regions. Okay. So France is unhappy by losing one point, which isn't that big of a deal, really. That is okay. So the free company, which we don't need anymore, we'll just close that down. And then we'll tell our units just to protect that. And then we'll pull both of these. <clears throat> okay, so Austria will get that with you. We'll get a new, uh, what would you call it? A royal marriage, same with France. We'll keep relations constantly improved with France. I mean, it would be nice to have a third diplomat as well, but I just don't really feel as though that's anywhere close really right now uh we'll get galray and friesland because it'd be nice to constantly improve relations with austria as well uh, i'm probably just going to spend like use my diplomats up at that point because yeah okay granted we could use them for other things but at the same time it's probably quite important that we have the HRE on our side without any issue. Did I just throw away a level 3? I did get more out of armies though. Uh, sorry, uh, not level 3. Uh, discipline, uh, di uh, discipline of 5. But I did get morale, so that's okay. <coughs> it's the best of, of both worlds, I guess. I mean... Is there... Yeah, trade efficiency is probably best. And I'll switch on to admin. sort out our corruption so right now we're going to be in kind of a state where we can't really do a great deal of things because our nation's in a relatively weak position we can make okay money you can also probably build up a lot of ships yeah 24 <clears throat> which at the moment can't really do a lot what's this other war they just want an access through could i it might be worth actually attacking utrecht already but I don't know what my aggressive expansion... My aggressive expansion is already quite high. So I think it might be best if I... Can I set them as an interesting nation or something? I think? I don't know. Maybe there isn't a way. I just need to be cautious of France then. Falling out of uh, favour with me. Because France largely right now is tied to my survival. If I die, it's well, most likely because I don't have an ally. So, I think what I'm going to have to do is France acts as a deterrent more than anything, to be honest with you. Um, it's going to build up marketplaces because our trade power should be really large. Or will be larger. And what I want to do is put down the edict of protect trade. Okay, yeah, granted, it'll be a little bit more expensive, but at the same time, we'll get more trade bonus from it, so. Uh, what do we do for this? So, four, yeah, mill power, which is nice. Which probably, will, yeah, which means I can get the mill tech, get the high income. Get mill tech four, which is a really good tech to have. Okay, so, I mean, that improved us by two. And that actually did improve our income. These are two different... Of course they're two different provinces. Why wouldn't they be? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's 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 typical, if I'm honest. Um, <clears throat> so, France doesn't really have that big of an issue with me. 
The only thing they don't like is the fact that I'm a rival to Austria, to be honest. That is what they don't like. Can I remove this and just tell you to just improve with allies? Because then it will flick between the two. Okay, so we're making good amounts of money. I mean, right now, unfortunately, a lot of the Holland game is just sitting and waiting. But I feel as though this is probably a good place to leave it. We've got our independence. We've taken two regions, which have made us quite strong, to be honest, they're quite rich provinces. Uh, I think we also need Breda to form the Netherlands, do we not? We also need Utrecht and Galway now, which is, I mean, off, we should easily be able to get them. Um, so, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please feel free to comment, like, whatever you want to do. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.